I want to step back. Good evening. Welcome to the final Bracketology show for 2024. Uh, the 6A boys and girls still with me. Rafa, Coach Kano, Coach Steve. I guess I should say Coach Rafa. Doing the 6A um, precursor to the, the big match of the night where USA and Mexico uh, play a little bit later. So hopefully we'll be done in time before that. So that way we can see Rafa cry a little bit. Uh, for hey, we're not favored. We had nothing to lose, so I'm not. I'm not too worried about it. It's all, oh, I, all the bro, always... bro, bro, bro halter haters there. You know, they're ready to hang them. Well, there's a lot of. I, I am they lose, of those, but you know that's that's a whole yeah. separate discussion. Well, you know, but... being a, a USA fan, I am worried about it. <laughs> Just uh, wasn't too happy with the performance uh, oh, yeah. the other night. Yeah. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see the way it pans out later tonight. But well, we're here to talk about uh, Stephen, It's not how you start. It's not even how you play halfway through it. It's how you finish. That's true. Yeah. I so. noticed we weren't we weren't saying that in week one of the San Antonio FC matches. By the way. <laughs> no, we were not. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> and and uh, I, I wouldn't confuse. Uh, Coach Marcino with uh, Coach Berhalter either. So. <laughs> oh, oh. Although I will say there is a little bit of a split in the fan base at certain times. Yeah, but, so I've uh, heard. But yeah, but yeah, that's uh, thank you for being here with us and uh, thank you for joining us, uh, Harry and Rafa, having us here, having the the uh, the roundtable hosting us and having the uh, the podcast, the fifty fifty podcast here. We've gone over 4A last night at midnight or Midnight Madness. Mm -hmm. Just wrapped up 5A, which was we were doing our due diligence to wrap it up as best as we could, as quickly as we could. And now we're here <coughs> on 6A, ready to dive in, ready to dive in, guys. And Roy's going to find me $10 for uh, coughing on air and not using the cough button. Uh, but uh, starting out, South Lake Carroll and uh, Crowley. I'm assuming South Lake uh, Carroll, not necessarily easy, but uh, as far as the choices here, uh, it's going to be the easy choice. Yeah, yeah South, South Lake yeah. Carroll's been on a uh, understatement. A to call it a, a, yeah, yeah, they're, they're <laughs> destroying. And teams. I'm assuming we're rolling with El Paso Franklin over Midland High School. Yes. Yeah. No. Uh, Weatherford and Fort uh, Timber Creek, I'm assuming Weatherford. Correct. Yes. Lady Bruce. Um, this one I'm not going to make a decision on. Uh, San Angelo Central and El Paso Americas. Hmm. I'm trying to remember. Uh, Central. This one, this is that, is that Central? Pecos? I think at Pecos. Central. Is it at Central? No. One? I think. No, yeah, it's at Pecos. It's Pecos. I believe. Yeah. yeah I'm going to go with Central. Yeah, give me Central. Yeah, Central as well. Uh, Arlington versus Irving MacArthur. Not too much to discuss in this one. Arlington, yeah. Uh, Prosper and Koppel, if it was a football matchup, probably be just as juicy as this yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, so. this is, so Prosper once again draws an interesting first rounder, right? That's tough against Capel round one, yeah. uh, but that's yeah. these, you know, the the this district five and district six in six A, uh, you know, the, these are the ones that these are the the by district matches where we're going to kind of, mm -hmm. you know, in some cases flip a coin as far as who's we're going to be, you know, deciding on who who wins this. But uh, no, we, I, I I would lean towards Prosper over Capel in this match, um, yeah. Yeah, Prosper. They got their hands full, but it's going to be Prosper. Uh, Dallas Highland Park in South Grand Prairie. So I'm in Dallas Highland Park. Yeah, I'm Scott. HP. Yeah. Uh, Louisville Hebron and uh, Ditton Geyer. I mean, that's a pretty remarkable record for a third place team. 18 <laughs> 2 and 2 for Geyer. Um, yeah, look out for these. I think Hebron is it going to be fair to but this Hebron, one. Yeah. Yeah, Hebron. Yeah. Uh, 
Friendship in El Paso Eastwood. Got to go friendship. friendship here. I think this is a friendship that's kind of returning to the uh, friendship of old, I guess. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Hearst, Hearst, Bell, and Keller, I'm assuming Hearst. Hearst, correct. This could be a tricky game for them. Yeah. yeah. This, could be a, this could be it. This could be it. That could be a tricky game there. Yeah. Um, it's a very well, very well coached Keller squad, too. Good. And, uh, good and actually, in this, in this matchup last year, Keller was third. Uh, as well in uh, District Four, and they actually knocked off Euless Trinity four to zero. Um, yeah, in this like, match last year, and, like and not only that, then then they knocked off uh, Wolforth Friendship in the next round. I like Keller in this. So, I think Keller gets hard to, look, hard to look past. I, I get it, twenty one victories in a twelve one one record in district, but it's a battle tested Keller squad as well. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna go killer. I think I talked myself into it. Killer, all right. East Lake and Odessa Permian. <clears throat> so I'm in East Lake. Yes. Yeah. Byron Nelson and Fort Worth uh, Pascal. Nelson. Pascal. Nelson. Pascal. Nelson. 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 Uh, Flower Mound and McKinley Boyd. McKinley Boyd. Um, yeah, give me Flower Mound. Yeah, this is yeah. Flower Flower Mound's gonna have to earn this one though. Very well yeah. coached. Very well coached McKinney Boyd squad. Uh, this could just this could potentially come down to maybe depth, right? Uh, I know yeah. McKinney McKinney Boyd getting in as a four seed it was a little surprising, I think, but. Coach Ramos, Elias Ramos, very well coached squad. There, um, what he's building there as well, I think, is yeah. Flower Mound, uh, Flower Mound just has to know they have the talent, they have the skill level. They're a district champion, but I hope they come ready to play. Uh, Dallas Lake Highlands and Ar uh, Arlington Lamar. Lake Highlands. Lake Highlands. Yeah, I think they're out of Richardson, but yeah, in the Dallas area. Yeah. Allen and Flower Mound Marcus. Your state mm -hmm. champs right here. State champion out yeah. in the first round. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I don't. This is between what Marcus graduated and their co second year coach now, or really first full year coach, right? Getting settled in um, and still highly talented, still incredible, still incredible program, but not not the Marcus of last year that made the run. Right, so I like Allen and, here. And end of yeah. years past. I mean, Marcus is, uh, yeah. you know, they've they've made a huge name for themselves and uh, on the boys and girls side. But you know, here we're speaking about the girls and, um, but yeah, I've got I've got Allen advancing out of this one. Yeah, Martin and Richardson Purse. Pierce. Um, hmm. I think our, this could be an is an even. I think the, yeah, they, the district records are very deceiving here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that and, and Pierce is a, you know, they got the pedigree. They're, they're one of the teams that typically finds themselves sitting in, in a regional and right. if not even state. So um, I'm going to go Pierce with the upset here. Guess my old upset. Yeah. Pierce. I like Pierce. Moving over to Region Two, Waco Midway and Mansville Lake Ridge. Midway, yeah, Midway. So district champion in, out of twelve six A in Midway that is just decept has been just deceptively quiet this year. Solid program. Wiley East and Rockwall Heath. Another team that's been kind of quiet is East, you know, with that 21 and one record and, and a second seed. Um, I, I they had East. that one loss. They had that one loss. That that's what cost them. Yeah. Cost them. Who, so. was that? Who was that to against uh, Wiley? Or no? No, that no, was. It was uh, who was it? One of the Garland Saxony or? Yeah, Saxony. Yeah, it was Saxony. 
Sasuke. Yeah. Sasuke is the one that knocked him off that one game. Um, it was back in, uh, I think in February, that's when they knocked him off. Because remember, I had Wiley's like, kind of ranked number number two in the, in the RPIs. And, yeah, which is in the top Sasuke. five of the RPI. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sasuke is the one that knocked him off. They look to they look to have recovered since that loss, though. I think it, that's what yeah. cost them the district title. But uh, I think they are. I think they're regrouping at the right time. Well, not only that, they were um, they were the region champ last year. Correct. Um, and yeah. and let's see, they yeah they made a great run last year, and they were yeah, like they kind of the surprise yeah. last year. They were twenty eight and zero last year. Uh, they got knocked off to that Ridge Point team from uh, Houston. Four to three in overtime which, in state, which they were winning that game too. Yeah, yeah, I was I was at that one. That was a that was a back and forth match. So we'll give Wiley East. Yeah. Tough draw though. Duncanville, yeah. Duncanville. This is a good one. Mm -hmm. I think Wiley wins this one. I'm going to say Wiley. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Bridgeland. I've been big on Bridgeland all year. Uh, I think they don't get the, uh, the love. I think that they should, and they just, they go about their business and uh, yeah, uh, just a, a, a real player to watch in this tournament. Uh, yeah. Bridgeland. Yeah. So Oak Ridge. Oak Ridge. Uh, Oak Ridge. Pardon me. Conrad Oak Ridge and Houston DeCaney. Yeah. Oak Ridge. Oak Ridge. Tom Ball Memorial and Katie Cypress Lakes. Uh, I'm going to go Tom Ball. Uh, Tabo Memorials really have established themselves the last few years. They've gone some, they've had some great teams. So I'll, I'll go with Tom Ball. Houston Adeline versus Spring Grand Oaks. Aldine, uh, I think Grand Oaks pulls yeah. this one off. This is a this is one of those the uh, the uh, the battle. The battle tested within the district, I think, says a lot and very deceiving in terms of the <clears throat> the rank within district. So yeah, I, I like Grand Oaks over Eld over Elding. Yeah, playing against other teams like Woodlands and Woodlands College Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a tough district. Rockwall and Garland Naman Forest. Naman Rockwall. Uh, Naman Rockwall. Yeah. Mansfield and Hutto. I do love the Hutto uh, badge there. The hook, the hippos. Hutto hippos. No, I've got I've got Mansfield uh, coming out Mansfield. of this. Yeah. Uh, some some good good barbecue though in Hutto. Both bat both badges are solid. If you're uh, talking about Texan a, Cafe. a badge game there. Uh, Garland Sache and uh, North Forney. I'm assuming the Garland. Sexy, yeah. Yes, yeah, sexy. Yeah, sexy yeah. Pflugerville Weiss and Mansville Legacy. Mm. Hmm. It'll be a tricky game here. I, I, I think Legacy might. I think they. I think they may be the one that I think uh, more. Yeah. So this more, is more a, battles. This is, a rematch. this is a rematch from from last year. So we had uh, Mansfield Legacy winning this one four to zero uh, over Weiss. In the by district round, so I, I'm going to lean towards Mansfield again. Uh, legacy. Okay. Uh, MacArthur and call it the Woodlands College Park. Ooh. I'm going College Park with the uh, the the four over a one upset here. Just due, just due to the fact that. Like we spoke about District 13, um, you know, you got the Woodlands, you've got, uh, of course, College Park, you've got, you know, Oak Ridge. So, uh, just what do you think, battle, battle testing. 
you had them in your uh, you had them in the RPI for a while, and then they they kind of fizzled. Down that was the, the bo- that was the that was the boys. Or the boys? Okay, yeah, never mind. That was never the mind. boys. And yeah. again, this is another um, rematch. From, this is another rematch, real quick, from last year. Uh, College Park two to one in this the same uh, matchup last year. Yeah, I think when you see when you see a one maybe this dominant over a four and even a very strong district. Um, and there's a history there, right? Something to go off of the chip on the shoulder. I like I like Houston MacArthur here. They're a young squad. They have a lot of sophomores mm-hmm. on this team, the, the MacArthur team. But I mean, they've overachieved. I think they I think they get over the hump. I think they get some revenge. I'm going to go with MacArthur. I think we know why Hector went with MacArthur there. No, these are generals, <laughs> man. These are generals. <laughs> it's a it's a Mac team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mac truck. It's a Mac thing, as they say. Uh, Tom Ball in the Cypress Woods from Katie. Yeah, not much. Uh, yeah, I don't think uh, Tom Ball should be take care of this. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Even though the Cy the Cy Fair the Cy Fair teams are you know they're, they're competitive, but I think Tom Ball has enough to get by on this one. The Woodlands versus Spring. Woodlands. Woodlands. Lady Highlanders. And Cypress Ranch versus Klein. Go. Oof. I like eight. the I like the mild upset here. Yeah. Klein is playing very well right now. Very well. I'm gonna go Cy Ranch. We lose our screen there, Harry. No, I moved it over. Oh, okay. Because it's at the bottom. Rafa, we got one of each now. Uh, I'll go South Branch. Now we get to do the fun pick in here. There we go. And the, that, that one's actually a rematch of, of last year again. So Klein won that one four to zero. But I'm. I'm Again, I'm going to lean towards Cy- Cypress Ranch. Does that affect your your pick, Rafa? Klein Klein won four to zero last year. I, I I think this year maybe like I said, Klein's kind of I know they're playing well, but they've they have they've had some you know I guess some or some of some of the teams you know they had a loss against Lumber, Lumberton, you mm-hmm. know, and like that shows maybe they're a little come still competitive, but maybe. In, have some inexperienced looks players. Maybe it's kind of like a rebuild, not to say rebuilding, just a transition. Yeah. So I'm sure they're going to be good, good next year, but I think yeah, Cypress Ranch probably comes. They had a slow start. They had a slow start too. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but they're, they're hard to get. I'm just, I'm putting a little bit more stock into them based upon their full, current form. Re, yeah. They're more recent form. So moving up to the top here, uh, we'll, we'll start actually Region 2, and then we'll go back to Region 1, uh, Waco Mid- Midway and Wiley East. I'm going to go Wiley East here. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Duncanville and Wiley. I'm going to go Duncanville. Yeah, Duncanville. Bridgeland and Oak Ridge. Bridgeland. I'm going Bridgeland here. Yeah. Bridgeland, yeah. Memorial and Grand Oaks. Ooh. Gotta give the edge to Tom, Tom Ball. Yeah, I think Tom Ball. Yeah, Memorial. Mm-hmm. Rockwall and Mansfield. Mansfield and Rockwall. I'm gonna Rock go Rockwall here. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Chasse and uh, Mansfield Legacy. Uh, sexy. 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 Gonna go. Yeah, Sexy's. Sexy's the sexy solid. pick. Uh, Houston MacArthur and Tumble. 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 I'm going to tumble here. Uh, the Woodlands and Cypress Ranch. Woodlands. Woodlands. Allen and Richardson uh, uh, Pierce. 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 Uh, Allen. I'm going to go Allen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Flower Mount, Louisville Flower Mount, and uh, Lake Highlands. 
Richard that's, way great game. that's a great oh. game right there. Yes. Yeah. Flower Mound. I, I think too much Flower Mound. Flower Mound. Yeah. 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 Uh, East Lake and Byron Nelson. 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 Uh, Friendship and Keller. Hmm. Keller. Yeah. I'm going with I Keller. Like, I like Keller. I like Keller. Friendship got up with the upset this round last uh, year per uh, Steve already. Yeah, Keller knocked him off two to one. Uh, but I'm gonna go for uh I'm gonna go Wolf fourth. I'm gonna go Friendship. Yeah, I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go friendship on this one, but I think they they both already picked Keller, right? Yeah, they already went Keller. Yeah. Okay. Highland Park and Hebron. Great matchup here. Great matchup. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna go Highland Park. It's it's rare that they get ousted in the second round. Hebron, you know, yeah, they, they're, they, 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 they kind of, like I said, when you beat up on Marcus and, and you know, Louisville and all them, and Marcus Capel, isn't the same. Know. Marcus isn't the same Marcus of years past yeah. this year. So, uh, but yeah, so uh, I, I've, i I'm sticking with Highland Park. Yeah. I like Hebron. I like Hebron. Hebron. Okay. Hebron's right. getting the advance. Hey, Brian. Uh Arlington and Prosper. I think it ends here for, for Arlington. I think Prosper yeah. advances on yeah. this one. I agree. Weatherford and San Angelo Central. Can Central. Be... <laughs> Let's forget that, that game probably be played in Abilene. They're at, at they're at um Shotwell. I want to be surprised. Yeah. Um, Regardless of the they, winner here, it's the end of the road in the next round. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna go give, Weatherford. Yeah, I'm gonna give the edge to Weatherford. Weatherford. Uh, South Lake Carroll and uh, Franklin. I'm assuming we're going uh, South uh, South oh, Lake Carroll. Yeah. SLC, yeah. Carroll. And then somebody already tipped their hand uh, saying South Lake is getting past Weatherford. <laughs> yeah, that would be. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, you're fine. <laughs> I think we're all in agreement. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Prosper and Hebron. Mm. Great matchup, man. Great matchup. I'm going to go I Hebron think, here. What do you got? I think though? Prosper finally. I think proper Prosper finally gets it in. I, I think they've they've been this, but kind of they've been underachieving the last couple of years because they've had some great teams, but this has just been falling short. I, I think especially in this round. Um, but I think this is the year. I think they finally break through and get to the to the yeah. And they're uh, the they're rewarded. They're rewarded with South yeah. Lake Carroll. South Carroll. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. No, I I agree. I like Prosper here. Keller and Byron Nelson. You're losing out a lot this this round here, Steve. I'm just saying. I sure am. Yeah. Uh, Byron Nelson. It's, yeah, I've got I've got Byron Nelson in this one as well. Uh, Flower Mound and Allen. Another great. Mm. Another great one. Man, this could I, be a regional semi. Even a regional final. Regional final, yeah. I, I just think head to head. I think just too much, a little too much flower mound here. There's probably an extra time match, but yeah. I'm gonna go Allen. Rafa, I'll go flower mound. Man, you guys just don't like Steve. This. <laughs> don't tell him. I know why Rafa doesn't. But look what I'm wearing. You know, let's... <laughs> uh, Wiley East and Duncanville. <laughs> I, th I think Wiley East. Wiley Wiley. East I th I th yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're on a mission this year. Uh, Bridgeland and Tom Ball Memorial. Give me Bridgeland. Bridgeland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Rockwall and uh, Saxy. 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 I like Saxy. Yeah. Probably. Tom Ball and the Woodlands. I'm gonna go the Woodlands. Woodlands. Tricky, tricky. 
I, I, I wouldn't be surprised, Tom Ball, though, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lean towards Woodlands. Yeah. Wiley East and Bridgeland. Ooh. I'm going, I'm going Bridgeland. I'm going just have been – this is going to be one great matchup, but I like Bridgeland. So this is the regional uh, semi, right? Yes. Yeah. Believe, so yeah. this would actually be played in Round Rock? For six? Uh, region two? Yeah. Yeah, it was region two, Round Rock. Yeah, yeah Round Rock. Yeah. Wait, two, you said, right? Region two? Yeah. Region no, two. no, girls is at Comalander. No, no, no. No, 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 that's, no that's, that's for four. four. That's, that's for four. region four. Oh, uh, region four. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ashbury Stadium. Region. Yeah. Reeves. Kelly Reeves, Reeves, yeah. at, Reeves Stadium. Oh, uh, man. Rock. I might even want to go to this one. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to. Yeah, so travel. This is a true neutral site match. Yeah. yeah Wiley's going to come down for this, and, and Cypress has to come west for this. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Wiley. So who's the tiebreaker? Rafa is. Rafa is the tiebreaker. Yeah, I'm gonna go Wiley East. Um, oh. they, like I said, they've been they've been there. They've been there. Like I said, I, I think they I think they learned from that loss against against Saski and and I think they're refocused. It's gonna be a tough one, and I want to be surprised if this one goes to PKs. Speaking of Saski, them versus the Woodlands. Saski. Um, South Lake Carroll a, and Prosper. You're looking at a rematch over there. And this is in McKinney. So this is in the uh, – this will be up in the Dallas area. And I've got South Lake Carroll. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Byron Nelson and Flower Mill. Flower Mill. Flower, I think Flower Mill. Flower Mill. Yeah, Flower Mill. So a final four. So these two district district rivals have to go to Round Rock to play each other. Wiley yeah. East and Saxe, where uh, Ruff has already mentioned that they split, and South Lake Carroll and Flower Mount. So I've got South Lake South Lake Carroll on the uh, in Region One. I'm assuming no. that's everybody's pick right there. Who was their tie against? That yeah, was a just. So, I think. Yeah, this, I, think, I think that was so early in the year. Was <laughs> that against Keller? I think so. Was it in district? Yeah, yeah it was in district. No. It was in district. Yeah. Vander a Vandergrift, January fifth. Yeah, I was gonna say I thought it was early in the year. Oh, it's a, a Vandergrift. Oh. No, yeah, it was okay. a it was a district game. No. Are you sure? I yes. thought it, was, it says they're on the district. South Lake Carroll? Are you talking about South Lake Carroll or are you talking yes. about yeah, we're like, uh, who was their tie against? Oh, it was South against Lake. Byron Nelson. It was 4 4. Wow. And that was on March March that was on March 5th. So that was recent. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, that makes me want to pick Nelson. <laughs> Nelson against uh, over Flower yeah. Mountain. That'll be hey, this is uh, no at that point it won't matter. Uh, well you guys went with uh, Flower Mound over, over yeah, yeah, I know I'm, I'm yeah. saying my, my my pick would have been Nelson. Uh Flower Mound. Yeah, so, it's, it's but, like Flower uh, Mound there. Going head, into this, head, uh, I guess South Lake different. Yeah. Yeah. So we're still going South Lake Carroll or we're we going Flower Mound? Yeah. South Lake Carroll. And then uh, District Nine, who's the who's the one that makes it to the state? The rubber match. The rubber match. <clears throat> so what are their? Uh, I'm sorry, Rafa. Did you already say who? Yeah, you know, they. Who? So so the first go around, um, uh, they uh, what's it called? Wiley uh, Lease won three to two, but on the second one, with the recent one, was uh, Sasky with a two zero win. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go Saxy. This is a, this is a complete this is a coin flip, man. That's what it really is. Yeah, no. Yeah. This is a this is a battle of attrition. Who comes? Who is maybe healthier? And yeah, and and even then, 
you know, not shocked whatsoever if it goes to penalties. So, and, and who's got the the deeper bench, right? Yeah, I you like. Know, this will be a Saturday game. Yeah. In terms of in terms of who I like more as a team, right? Roster top to bottom, who I've been impressed with more over over the course of the entire year, I would say. Even though Rafa's had East Wiley East in the RPI, I just I think Saxy's kind of been just under under. I'm not going to say under rate under the radar, but underrated. Do you think it depends on who they play in the semifinal? Could that be the key? Who's who's yeah. more fresh? Yeah. Who's got the legs, right? Who's got the legs? Yeah. So Wally East has probably the probably maybe the tougher matchup compared to to Saskia. No, no disrespect to the mm -hmm. Woodlands, but um, yeah. I, yeah. I think Saskia maybe might be the fresher team going mm -hmm. into that game. So I'm going to go with Saskia on that. One. And I, I want to say that usually the, the higher part of the bracket, they play first, though, right? Mm, I think in theory, yes, but it doesn't always play out that way. Okay. Oh. Yeah. All right, we're going to transition over to Region 3 and 4, uh, but please uh, listen to a word from uh, Gipper and Global Scarves. Looking to step up your social media marketing game? Well, let us tell you about our great friends at Gipper. Gipper is a way that schools, athletic departments, ADs, and coaches create world-class marketing content. Join over 4,000 coaches, ADs, SIDs, and club directors who use Gipper to create high-quality visual branded graphics for your program. The best part? Anyone can do it in seconds on any device without needing any design experience whatsoever. If you do have significant design experience, you're going to love this as well as you are what they call the power user, and this is designed with you in mind as well. Just for being a listener and supporter of the 5050 podcast, you can receive you can receive savings immediately and save 10% off any first time Gipper purchase. Simply visit gipper.com slash partner slash 5050 to learn more. Again, that's gipper.com slash partner slash 5050. And then there are our great friends at Global Scarves, both Bill and Kyle. They are the top providers of custom knitted scarves, beanies, and other fan merchandise in the U.S. All merch is fully custom with free design services and free shipping on all orders. They do so much more, guys, than just scarves, blankets, beanies, you name it. It's all designed and all customized to your specifications and needs. You can contact them at info at globalscarves.com to get any free designs or quotes built out for your school, club, or maybe even a supporters group. Simply mention the podcast or use the code Hashtag 5050pod, and they will be sure to take care of it. And we're back, and we're going to start out with a beauty. Fort Bend Ridgepoint and Katie. Yeah. One yeah. through four, but the uh, Katie High School is a four. Well, that says a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a, a very difficult match for – uh, rich points going rich into the you know for, for by district. Um, I'm gonna give the edge though to, to Ridge Point, but um, yeah, that's, that's that's the price you get for winning district, huh? <laughs> Sheesh, what do you got? Yeah, rich Point, Rich Point, yeah, right. I agree. Advance it on Memorial and Heights, Memorial, Memorial. Uh, this is another nice, fun one here. Uh, Seven Lakes and George Ranch. Oof. Seven Lakes. Seven Lakes. I go. With seven seven. Lakes. It's a yeah. tough. It's a tough game, but it'll be Seven Lakes. Yeah. 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 Seven Lakes. Bel Air and Cy Fair. I like Bel Air here. Yeah. 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 Bel Air. Uh, League City, Clear Springs, and Austin, Alif, Elsick, or Houston, Alif, Elsick. I think I said Austin. Alif, Elsick. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Clear Springs here. Clear, Clear Springs. Humble, uh, out of Scotia, and Deer Park. Now, keep in mind, 22 District 22 has not officially uh, submitted theirs, but uh, yeah. the standings are pretty clear on this one with everybody playing. Pretty yeah. good number of games. I think how yeah. how this matches up on the girls' side. Yeah, Atascacita. Yeah, Atascacita. Yeah. <laughs> P 
Pierlin and Lake City Clear Falls. I'm assuming Pierlin. Pierlin, yeah. Pierlin. Pasadena Memorial and Humble Summer Creek. Good one here. Good one. Uh, I, I, I'll, go, I'll go with Summer Creek. Yeah. I'm going to go Summer Creek. Yeah. They, yeah. Little this was a this a rematch from last year in Summer Creek, um, five to zero. Houston Lamar and Houston yeah Houston Northbrook. Lamar, I'm go Lamar. Full share Jordan and Fort Ben Elkins. Fort Ben, hmm, tricky. Tricky here. So this one, so you got to remember here in nineteen on the girls' side, they ended up. These are not, this is sometimes where they're misleading because out of 196A here, it basically ended up being a three-way co-district champions. Mm -hmm. So, and then they had to go to the points from there to determine who was first, second, and third. Um, and this is a Jordan squad that, as many of us know, they're just still, they're still in transition from having lost their coach in season, right? So, um, can they, can they push through all of that and, uh, and get through Elkins. That's that's the question. I'm gonna say yes for this round. Uh, right, Jordan, yeah. Jordan. So I'm going with the Lady Warriors. Stratford West Side. Both out of Houston. Strat. That's Stra Stratford. Yeah, Stratford. Uh Clements and Katie Tompkins, Fort Ben Clements. Wow. <laughs> this is a tricky one. Mm -hmm. I, th I think top I think Tompkins wins this one. Tompkins, Tompkins, yeah. Yeah. Tompkins. Uh Pasadena Adobe and Beaumont Westbrook. Adobe. This will be this no, will be well, a matter of Westbrook Westbrook might yeah. Th yeah. did they pay last year? No. So uh oh. But but the four, uh, the the fourth place in twenty one was Humble Atascacita. Atas they knocked off Deer Park, which was the, Park, the yeah. district winner for twenty two. Uh, one okay. to zero. How, how did how, how did Dobie do last year? So Dobie last year, they were they got they lost to Beaumont Westbrook six zero. Yeah. It's a rematch. Oh, so. Yeah, so it is a rematch. It's just in a yeah. different two different, it's a different uh, round. It's a different, different round. Yeah, we'll go. I think Westbrook. Yeah. Westbrook might be yeah, the Westbrook. Westbrook. There's your bracket yeah. buster there. Dawson and Clut Brazelwood. Dawson. Dawson. Dawson all day here. Kingwood and Pasadena. I'm swimming Kingwood. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Clear Lake and Alvin Shadow Creek. You got to give it Clear Lake. Clear Lake's got the edge, but Shadow Creek's going to give them a game. Yeah. This. Uh, yeah. Clear, Clear Lake. Moving over to. Region four, Johnson and Clemens. Uh, I'm assuming Johnson, but uh, you know. Yeah. Do y'all have a score of that Clemens O'Connor game? Mm -mm. They didn't post it. No. No. Okay. No. The way they played it, the way they played it, it was kind of it was largely unofficial. I, I don't even I don't even know if it was a full ninety to be honest. Probably like a scrimmage. Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm gonna go John. Right. Yeah, Johnson. Yeah, yeah Johnson. Sorry, Luke. Uh, Westwood and Austin Westlake. Westwood. Round what? Westwood. Oh, Westwood here. Uh, New Braunfels and San Antonio Madison. I think Madison is Madison is going to test New Braunfels a lot more than people think. Yeah, I got I got New Braunfels, but it's it's going to be a it's, it's a home a game for New Braunfels, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm yeah, going to New Braunfels. New Braunfels, edge New Braunfels, but I, they they've got, they've definitely got to come ready to go 
um, from the start. If it's this is kind of one of those slow start, you let Madison get the lead on you. It yeah, it could be tough. Uh, Premier FA has put OC one one zero as far as the O'Connor oh. match that you're talking gotcha. about. Thank you. Uh, Lake Travis and Cedar Park Vista Ridge. Lake Travis. I think Lake Travis should take care of that business. Harlingen and Mission. Harlingen. Uh, O'Connor, speaking of, and Laredo South. Yeah, O'Connor. O'Connor. Yeah, O.C. Uh, La Jolla and Brownsville Rivera. La this, could, this could be a this could be a tricky one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty-two one in this matchup last year. Uh, West Laco knocked off Edinburgh Economides. Um, so. Give me your better. Give me your better. I like your better here. This yeah, is another. Better. This is another buster here. Uh, Del Rio and Warren. Okay, Rafa, I Rafa, Rafa, Rafa. Huh? I got to go with Warren. Here. Go to Warren. Yeah. This one, are they, where are they playing this one, Rafa? Do you know? They're playing this one at, at Hondo. Hondo. This is the first yeah. game at Hondo. And, and the boys as well, right? The boys, Warren, are they playing in Hondo too or no? Uh, there's a correction, uh, uh, O'Connor is actually playing Eagle Pass, and they're playing at Eagle Pass. Oh, kind of please. So if you go back, that not, what did he have up there? Was that not Eagle Pass? What was that? No, uh, United, uh, United, United South. United South, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll we'll fix that. Thank you for the correction. I think United South is Taft, isn't it? Yeah, Taft is United South. Yeah. Okay, so I have those backwards. All right, hold on. I'll so we'll make now. that correction. Thank you for the OC girls. Now, hold on. Can't adjust. Oh. Well, OC will take care of business in Eagle Pass. That's uh, that's, yeah. a, that's a for sure thing. Yeah, they. they yeah, Harry just they Harry, will, Harry just has to adjust it on the back end for the bracket. So yeah. they definitely. Yeah, Warren. In the in the yeah, Warren, Warren. Yeah, Warren should win this game. Uh, Warren, um, like I said, they have a really good forward, really good midfield. I know, I know yeah. Steve. We went to watch him. We watched him play. Um, that, I think that rainy night, they had that, yeah. that triple hitter there at Gus. Uh, mm -hmm. I was impressed. You know, they, they had a great attack, and I, I think they, they should have no problem yeah. beating Del Rio. Going Austin Anderson here, and uh, big fan of you know Coach Horvath, Emily Horvath, what she's done, and this is right this Austin Anderson team, what she's built there, and the fact that they were able to you know figure out twenty six six a and win the district title the other night. Very happy for her. Very proud. Just incredibly tough district, right? We saw. We went over how, mm -hmm. how tough that one was. It was like a, it came, a went to the last game. It went to the very last game. The set, going into the second half of the very last game, right? Between them, Lake Travis, with amongst others. Go uh, to Johnson. But yeah, but yeah, I like uh, I like Austin Anderson here. This is a team to watch. This is a dark horse here. Uh, next one, Steel versus Lee. Lee. Lee, unfortunately, and, and unfortunately, yeah, Steel is a team that they're banged up right now. Right, they're banged up, not won't have their top, uh, their top finisher, their top striker. So, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, Lee, yeah, go Lee, yeah. Oh, Taft gets United South. Was that a recent injury? No, no. It was a good bounce back season for Seal last year. They've they struggled with this year. They're, they're that a good, 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 good bounce back for them. But I, I'm, I was impressed by Lee. That was the first game I went out there when when that scrimmage when you guys had there at Lee High School, mm -hmm. and yeah, I could, you can tell Lee was really kind of. They have some really talented forwards, very physical, good some good speed. Just in the just in the brutal district of that twenty eight six A. And then moving forward. Uh Round Rock and Buddha Johnson. 
great matchup here. Great. Yeah, this is a yeah. Yeah, this is a recent interview, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Coach Benning just done a phenomenal job at Buda Johnson, just where mm -hmm. where they were, and we always reference right when Rafa and I saw him a couple of years mm -hmm. ago at uh, at Elmo Heights before they were six A, and just how far they've come, right in six A <laughs> at that. And uh, but yeah, I think in this case, it's just how the matchup plays out. I am kind of curious. I don't know if they flipped for this one or where they're playing this one, but it might just be too much round rock. Yeah. Yeah. You're starting to see like, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the Southern part of, of Austin, the Buda, the San Marcos, the Kyle, that like that kind of area is really starting to uh, put out some really good talent on the, on the, on the girl side, but the boy side as well. But, you know, in, in this case, uh, you know, for, for Buda, really good season that they've put together. Uh, I, I just think that Brown Rock's got a little bit too much uh, yeah. uh, firepower in this to, to, yeah. to, they're, to advance. They're tough. They're tough. Brown Rock is tough. They're undefeated. They're they're tough matchup. But Buda, Buda Johnson's going to make them earn it. So, yeah. Reagan and Judson. I'm assuming we're going Reagan, but uh, Converse Judson has had a good good season. A uh, nice recovery from last year. Yeah, Re Reagan here. Yeah, Reagan. Uh, Laredo United and Brennan. I like United here. I, I the the matchup here, everything. Um, how it stands, I forget where they're playing this one, but I know the uh, this Corp is a very corpus. is a corpus. Yeah, this is a uh, deceptively talent. I, I know it seems weird saying that for a district champion. This is a deceptively talented Laredo United squad that I saw firsthand. Glen Lee United. Yeah, I mean, uh, so so Laredo United fell to Warren last year in this. Uh, by mm -hmm. district round, uh, three to zero. Yeah, but Loretto I, United I think, was not as strong last year, and Warren, I think, yeah. was a little bit more polished. Right, and that, that's exactly what I was going to say was yeah. just the yeah. fact that you know Warren, I think, last year this is where they were peaking. This is where they were, you know, they were peaking at that right time, and they had a really, you know, a good little run into the yeah. uh, into the playoffs. I I don't see that this year with uh, the Brennan girls team. Uh, so I'm 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 going to go ahead and go uh, Laredo United here. Yeah, Brennan lost too much firepower from last year. They did, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah I think it had, it had it been last year, yeah. Yeah. Edinburgh North and uh, West Laco. Oh. Uh, mm. This is. I'll go with. I'll go with. Uh, I'm going to go, go with. with uh, I'm going to yeah, go with West Laco. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And it's. Taft versus United South, not Eagle sure. Pass. So I had that switched here. Um, Eagle Pass. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go against my uh, my dad's hometown, Eagle Pass. Uh, Taft Lady yeah. Girls, they're on a mission this year. Um, you know, they they've uh, started off a little uh, district, a little slow. The, the season they they started pretty strong, but uh, mm -hmm. district a little little slow. But right right now they're 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 hitting their stride. And, yeah. You know. Yeah, back to back. It just it does not seem right. You know, and they're not the only ones, but back to back district titles, undefeated back to back seasons, and their reward is making trips to <laughs> out of town. Well, they're going to the Laredo on this one because yeah. they're playing at yeah. that. Um, That's the, unfortunate. Yeah. At the yeah. at the sack, so Tash should take her business against United South. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Los Fresnos and Edinburgh Indomitis. Los Fresnos. Los Fresnos. And that takes us through the uh, the by district round of all regions, all four regions. Harry will go ahead and put up pull up the bracket, and we'll now go through regions three and four, and we'll see who who we have going to uh, going to Georgetown. Uh, Fort Bend, Ridge Point, and Houston Memorial. Hmm. Ridge Point, Ridge Point, Ridge Point, yeah. Seven Lakes and Bel Air. I'm assuming Seven Lakes because Rafa's po posted them all year. Yeah. Yeah, Seven Lakes. Yeah. Clear Springs and uh, versus uh, Atascosa. Tuscosita. Uh, I think I'm going to go Tuscosita. 
I think I'll go with a Tesla. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with Tesla. Yeah. Pearland and uh, Summer Creek. Give me part. Summer Creek had part. that run. Had that yeah. run last oh. year. Yeah, but I, like I don't Pearland know here. this year. Yeah. Yeah. So I got Summer Creek. Who do you got, Rafa? I'll go with Pearland. I, th I think it, it ends this year at this round. Lamar and Jordan. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Lamar. <laughs> uh, with all of the kind of the turmoil that's happened at Jordan. That's what. Yeah. Can 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 they overcome it? And can, can or is it can it galvanize them? Right? Can it galvanize, galvanize them? them? Yeah. Yeah. I think. Um, uh, Oh yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna lean to Jordan. I think I think they're gonna find something deep. I think they're gonna dig deep, and I think they're gonna pull that one off. Yeah. So it seems like player wise, Jordan has a good team, but it's that lack of coach or the. Yeah, this is a team that was in sole possession. This was a team that was in sole possession of first, the first place. place about three weeks ago. Yeah. And then so. I let go of the coach. Yeah. Right, and then a yeah, just a number of unfortunate things. Um, yeah, I I want to say Jordan. I think that's what my soccer brain is saying. Stratford and Tompkins. Ooh. Well coached, <laughs> well coached Tompkins squad. Um, but I Eileen Stratford here. Stratford, yeah, they had a good run last year, and so this is a, a, a rematch. From last year, that Stratford won barely one zero over Tompkins. Yeah, Stratford edges. They got the edge on this one. Yeah, they were in the regional final last year. Uh, Beaumont Westbrook and Pearland Dawson. Dawson. I think Dawson gets this one. Yeah, yeah. Dawson. Kingwood and Clear Lake. Kingwood. Kingwood. Johnson and Westwood. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Man. That's what a second. Regional finalist. I mean, and this could this be is, a regional, regional semifinal, regional final. Yeah, this is uh the 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 questions that cause that rise. Can a San Antonio team beat finally beat? beat an Austin team and yeah. especially from what we saw last year is you know you saw Westwood and Ron Rock pretty much dominate not to say dominate but they end up had convincing wins. The, wins good good wins and yeah but I think this I think this is a year that Johnson has the experience has the players I think they I think they get they finally get by and I think they beat Westwood yeah, yeah I, got, I got Johnson here how far they get I don't we'll, we'll yeah, yeah, they're go they're going to have to come to play because Westwood is a handful. Westwood is a handful. They're and they're just their style of pl their style of play is going to challenge Johnson. Is really going to challenge Johnson. So um, the difference being, I think this year you have in Mabry Williams, you know, Camilo Palacios. They're just they have some finishers that are more developed, um, and maybe that's the difference. But you know, Westwood has. Westwood has some great finishers themselves, and they've been in phenomenal form as well. So, yeah, this is going to be a great match. Speaking of uh, one of our famous preps, uh, <laughs> Madison Harris, I don't know about convincing. They needed a PK to beat me and kick me in the head to win. So. <laughs> and she holds a grudge over there. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Yeah, she's She's – She's ready to go. She's ready. She's, she's in playoff mode. Right. She's been in play. Well, they've been in playoff mode all year. New Braunfels, New Braunfels. What's that? Is that like Travis? Is it my scene right? Like Travis. Like yeah. Travis. Yeah. I, I, th I think like Travis wins this one. Yeah. Yeah. Give me like Travis. Tough 26. Yeah. I mean, just surviving 26. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see where they end up playing that one. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah. 
You I can see that out. one played play like in Dripping Springs or San Marcos. Yeah. yeah. One of those two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Harlingen and O'Connor. And I apologize for having Harlingen. the wrong wrong matchup there. I apologize about yeah. that. O'Connor. O'Connor. Re yeah. Rematch from last year and actually rematch from this season. Remember, O'Connor was kind of struggling mm -hmm. and Harlingen gave it to them. The same thing last year, but this time it's going to O'Connor. Hopefully. I think there were some issues with you know playing there at Cabinus because of the win that uh, we saw that game. I think uh, I think live stream on that one. But, yeah, so, I mean at this point, think, okay. at this point, it just is what it is. I think to to even mention wind at Cabinus <clears throat> is pointless, <laughs> yeah. right? It's just pointless because you know it's going to be there, right? You know it's going to be a factor. So, um, but yeah, I think I think this O'Connor team is surging at the right time and. They've they've found they know who they are, what they want to do. They figured out their their style, their play, you know, first uh, first year coach and coach Martinez, you know, coach Donnie Martinez. Mm -hmm. But I mean, they have some weapons and we saw them. I mean, we saw them go, you know, toe to toe with with a, another great squad here in Taft. So and they're fun to watch as well. So, yeah, I, I like O'Connor. Uh, Branzo Rivera and San Antonio Warren. Uh, Warren got Warren here. Uh, Austin Anderson and Lee. Wow. I'm yeah. going to go Anderson. I like Anderson here. Yeah. yeah. yeah Anderson. Round Rock and Reagan. Round Rock. Rock. Mm -hmm. uh, Laredo United and uh, West Laco. Or West Laco. United, um, once again. I like United. United. Uh, Madison's Taft or Los Fresnos? Um, are you going to pick against Madison? Because you know she is watching and taking notes. <laughs> Obviously, as we just saw. Yeah, I'm yeah. not picking the one, against. The, yeah. the, 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 <laughs> not the one thing that Taft has, to, the one thing Taft has to uh, be aware of with Los Fresnos, for Fresnos loves playing a, an outside trap. And I got to see that firsthand. Yeah. Yeah. So they're going to have to be, like I said, uh, they're going to have to be very disciplined on the runs and you know when they play for you know passes from behind um if they can get break through that and you know get a lead i think that'll kind of you know kind of derail with los fresnos's plan because i think los fresnos is going to try to win on account like it's like a close one zero game but i'm going to go with taff here yeah i think taff taff wins comfortably on this one yeah i mean i'm taft and yeah. but i'm the unofficial picker so taft and laredo united yeah, I think they went comfortably again. Yeah. yeah, this is yeah end of the road here for, I mean, a phenomenal what and will what will end up being a phenomenal season for Laredo United. Uh, Austin Anderson and Round Rock. This is the one I've been. This is the one that's that becomes a barn burner slash, insert all the adjectives right. Flip a coin. Um, this has this has penalties written all over it here. Um, tough i'm gonna lean slight edge round rock here yeah i got i got round rock here yeah round rock uh north side o'connor and warren o'connor yeah johnson and lake travis i'm gonna give uh i'm gonna give johnson the the edge on this one yeah it was a couple of years ago that they beat a like Travis, like a heavy favorite Lake Travis team. I think in Canyon Lake, I think it was what two years ago. Mm -hmm. That that every we thought maybe Lake Travis was going to kind of run the gauntlet, but they were able to knock them off. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'm going to give the edge to Johnson on that one. Uh, Fort Bend, Ridge Point, and Seven Lakes. Ridge Point, I like Ridge, Ridge Point. Yeah. yeah. Uh, humble. Atascocia and Pearland. Atascocia, I think. Humble. Atascocia. Yeah, yeah I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say Atascocia on this one. Uh, Jordan and Stratford. 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 Dawson and Kingwood. 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 I think I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah. I'll go for the record. I'll go Dawson here. 
Back up to the top for a ridge point or humble. I'm going to go ridge point. Ridge point. Yeah, ridge point. And Stratford and Kingwood. Yeah, and this could be a regional final here. This is uh, this is Stratford. I think Stratford is kind of has kind of just not kind of like how we talked about with Bridgeland, just not mm -hmm. getting enough of that that pub. I think, and yeah. I see them on a mission. And this will be uh, in in Deer Park, so this will be in the uh, Greater Houston area. Yeah. Uh, not too much. Well, I say not too much travel, but Houston is massive. Yeah. <laughs> so Stratford. Stratford. Yeah. Stratford. Yeah, Stratford. Side note, starting lineups are uh, starting lineups are out for the uh, US men's US national team versus Mexico. Okay. Let's see where your focus is. I agree. Johnson <laughs> and O'Connor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go Johnson here. End of the road for O'Connor, but a, a really good uh, yeah. year for good season. Uh, first year yeah. co coach. Yeah. And Taft and Round Rock. We have to see this one play out. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yeah. This is. Yeah. Uh, it's, <sighs> this is going to be. Uh, I'm taking Taft. I know I'm not I'm the unofficial, but. Mm -hmm. From the very first start of this year, Taft has been on this mission to be able to complete the ride this year. And they've been and they've been some good teams, you know. And but Rock, you know, the the thing the key for Taft, they have to get a lead. I think last I think last year, you know, it was kind of like a back and forth, like Madison mentioned. You know, it took them that that PK, but Taft has to really set the tone in this game. And establish the lead and be able to maintain it throughout. And these, they're going to be pressured a lot. These are at Co uh, Comalander. This, this, well. this will be a Comalander. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so Round Rock has to travel down. So Taft, and, you know, will have, will should have the crowd. Um, yeah. That in the uh, in the traditional San Antonio Austin matchup that has just that here in Region Four at Comalander, uh, Rafa can can attest to this. That has just not mattered. It has not. Mm -hmm. It, it yeah. simply has not mattered. Because you had Westlake the year before that Correct. still, you know, knocked off. Two same thing, with Lake, same thing with Lake Travis on the boys' side. Yeah. Um, wow. Need a decision? I want to get. I want to make it. I'm going to give the edge to Ron Rock. It's just a slight edge, because, like I said, what what they did, you know, getting to the regional final last year. Yeah, I think in terms of the styles, it's tough. But I, I think Round Rock has a particular system of play and style that matches up well with versus Taft in particular. Um, yeah, I just my soccer brain sounds Round Rock, even though my soccer my soccer heart wants Taft. But uh, yeah, I think slight edge Round Rock. Well, that that leaves me an easy. I I, I pick Taft. There you go. There you go. Hide. I can't Hide. See. There you go. <sighs> So a final four uh, uh, on one side, region three, Fort Bend Ridge Point, Houston Stratford, region four, Johnson versus Round Rock. Who's the two that go? I think for Ridge Point to get to this point says a lot in terms of their program after what they graduated last year and were in the state tournament. So it's a great, ironically, I think a a great job this year to get to this point, but I think I think Stratford breaks through here. Um, and then on the other side, on the other side, I just I think a, I just I think a little too much round rock. I think I've got the opposite. I've got uh, Fort Bend Ridge Point, and I've got Johnson. I think Johnson is going to. Uh, Come out of the region. I think the San Antonio team will come out of the region for on the girls' side. Rafa, so that means uh, you get you, you get the deciding vote for both sides. <laughs> yeah. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Um, you know, it's just something about Rich Point. You know, they've they've been the I guess the, you can say the standard there for for Region Three the mm -hmm. last few years. 
you know, and I, Coach makes a great co- uh, case about Stratford. Uh, you know, it's this three year they finally break through, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to Ridgepoint just because of they they've been there, done that, they know the routine. You know, can't until Stratford can prove it. I'm gonna go with the Ridgepoint, and then on the other side, yeah, I, I'm already tired of these uh, awesome teams. Representing region four. Now you can't say until they prove it on one side and then do the exact opposite on the other side, man. Yeah. Yeah. I was waiting for that one. I was he's waiting t- for that one. He's tired yeah. of it, though. Yeah. I'm oh, tired t- of it. Okay, I'm, that makes sense. No, I'm, tired. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm tired of Austin representing us, and this is something we've I've discussed with Harry in the past. And so the Johnson girls watching, <laughs> I believe in you, ladies. Correct. Beat the, beat the I, keep wait, I keep waiting for him to pick Round Rock, though. <laughs> He's setting them up. <laughs> but no, I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna pick Johnson. I think this is their year. They have the experience. I think they're motivated. They coach well. Um, yeah, I think there's something special about this team because I've seen I've seen them a few times. Uh, you know, because no knock off on Round Rock or also also on O'Connor or even Taft. But I think this is this is a team. I think this is a very complete team that can finally knock off this. This kind of this Austin monkey off the rack. So the final four: South Lake Carroll, uh, Garland's uh, Sexy, uh, Fort Bend Ridgepoint, and San Antonio Johnson. Um, any final thoughts before we trans- uh, transition to the boys? No, no. It's a, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a great good. final four. It's loaded. Well. Yeah. It's, it's very loaded. Um, that being said, if we were going to kind of uh, rank these, I think South Lake would kind of be the top dog yeah. for right. for uh, our, our favorite, I should say, that for for these out of these four. But uh, uh, and then th- so the 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 reseeding would probably since there's two Dallas teams and you know a Houston team and a and a San Antonio team, so you you would probably see a Dallas versus a uh, a San Antonio Houston. or a Dallas versus a Houston uh, kind of match. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it's all to be determined. Yeah. yeah. All right. We'll, we'll, be, pick. we'll be back in uh, 90 seconds. Uh, if you can please give a listen to Gipper and globalscarves.com and while we transition to 6A for the boys. Looking to step up your social media marketing game? Well, let us tell you about our great friends at Gipper. Gipper is a way that schools, athletic departments, ADs, and coaches create world-class marketing content. Join over 4,000 coaches, ADs, SIDs, and club directors who use Gipper to create high-quality visual branded graphics for your program. The best part? Anyone can do it in seconds on any device without needing any design experience whatsoever. If you do have significant design experience, you're going to love this as well as you are what they call the power user, and this is designed with you in mind as well. Just for being a listener and supporter of the 5050 podcast, you can receive you can receive savings immediately and save 10% off any first time Gipper purchase. Simply visit gipper.com slash partner slash 5050 to learn more. Again, that's gipper.com slash partner slash 5050. And then there are our great friends at Global Scarves, both Bill and Kyle. They are the top providers of custom knitted scarves, beanies, and other fan merchandise in the U.S. All merch is fully custom with free design services and free shipping on all orders. They do so much more, guys, than just scarves, blankets, beanies, you name it. It's all designed and all customized to your specifications and needs. You can contact them at info at globalscarves.com to get any free designs or quotes built out for your school, club, or maybe even a supporters group. Simply mention the podcast or use the code Hashtag 5050pod, and they will be sure to take care of it. Uh, 6A boys, Region 1, Region 2. Uh, we're about seven minutes away from kickoff for, uh, was it Nations League, I think is this one? Uh, with uh, Mexico and the United States on the men's side. And the last, uh, last two... Uh, what we need to do as far as uh, boys or girls and regions. So uh, kicking it off at Keller uh, versus uh, Crowley. I'm assuming we're going with Keller. Yeah, Keller Indians. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
El Paso, Pebble Hills, and Midland. I'm assuming we're going with uh, Pebble Hills. Very, very good Pebble Hills squad. Watch them in Region 1. Uh, Trinity and Keller Timber Creek. I'm assuming we're going with Euless Trinity. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I guess here's probably the first one in the discussion. San Angelo Central and El Paso Montwood. Mm -hmm. Is this a, is this a Pecos special also, Rafa? Do you remember? This is a Pecos. Yeah, this is in Pecos too. Um, we actually got to speak to someone, someone from, uh, that used to play for Central and, he kind of gave us some to me and Steve some info. Um, mm -hmm. He said he did say they were kind of a, a young team. Mont Montwood, uh, cause I have history with Montwood. We actually got I got to play against them. That they, they, they have some talent. This could go this could go either way, um, but I'm gonna give the edge to San Angelo Central on this one. It'll, it'll be a it'll be a close game. I agree. Uh, Grand Prairie and uh, Richardson Lake Highlands. Hmm. This uh, Grand Grand Prairie. Prairie. Lake Highlands is a yeah Grand Prairie. They're they're usually one that uh, makes a big run deep into the uh, in in the playoffs. Uh, but Prairie. yeah, I'm gonna go Grand Prairie though. That being said, Prosper and Couple. Great matchup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Hmm. Aren't they playing on the girl side too? Yes. Yeah, yep. man, they're probably having yeah, a double header somewhere. They pack, yeah, pack the house here. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, what do you guys think? I'm gonna I'm gonna give the edge to to Prosper over Capel. Um. Yeah, this is a overtime uh, PK kind of match. I have no other reason because this is so close other than to just simply say the opposite of what Steve said. I will uh, pick Capel. Yeah, just, I don't know. I, I just feel like it's that even, such a push. Mm -hmm. So I'll leave it to Rafa. I'll, gi I'll give it a prosper. All righty. <laughs> um, Scott will be uh, texting you here momentarily. Uh, Dallas Island Park in Arlington. Highland Park. Highland Park. Yeah. Uh, Hebron and McKinley Boyd. Good match. That's going to be a tough one. Yeah. But Hebron, Hebron, I think we'll pull this one off. Yeah. 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 yeah Hebron. Uh, <clears throat> West Texas Special, Odessa Permian, and, and El Paso Franklin. Ooh. Two squads very familiar with each other, but yeah, slight edge here, Mojo. I know Coach Hernandez will have Franklin ready, but I'm trying to remember where this one is. Is this one? I think this is in Midland. I think uh, it might be at an Odessa. Uh, I might be at Ratliff. It might be Ratliff. Yeah, I think it is Ratliff because I think it's the Franklin. Girls Odessa right has there. a home playoff game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go Odessa Permian. Yeah. Mojo. And Mojo. I will say this. That is an exceptional crest by Franklin. So, yeah. T yeah. Tuesday Night Lights. Uh, Hearst Bell and Keller Central. I'm assuming Hearst. This could, yes. be, this could be a tricky one for, 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 for Hearst because Keller Central, they, they'll, they, they could complicate some things and they got some talent, but I'll give the edge on this one to Bell. I'm going to go Bell. Yeah. Uh, another West Texas special. Uh, East Lake versus Odessa. East Lake. East, East Lake. Not the not the East Lake of the last few years, but still, yeah, East Lake. South Lake Carroll and North Crowley. Hmm. South Lake Carroll. They've been underachieving, but I think I think they they got enough to to get them the next round. Yeah, Carol. Flower Mound and Denton Geyer. Flower Mound. Flower Mound. Flower Mound. Flower Mound. Yeah. Good football matchup. Mm-hmm. Irving and Arlington Martin. Let me go Ir Oof. 
Irving. Give me yeah, the the fighting Randy Waldrums here over Arlington Martin. <laughs> Allen and Flower Mound Marcus. Oh, uh, scraps that I didn't pull oh. that off there. My bad. I'm. I think this is this is Allen's year here to um, to make that final push. I think. Uh, I've been big on them all year. Rafa knows it going back mm -hmm. on uh, inside Texas high school soccer. I've been giving them grief about they should probably be <laughs> higher in the RPI, right, for a while. Uh, but, yeah, I think uh, depending upon how that bracket plays out for them, I can see that they're obviously – they're expecting a trip to Georgetown. That's Those are their expectations. It's state title or bust. So I like Allen here. Well, I, I was big on them last year. And uh, – They let yeah, you know. I'm, I'm not necessarily. I mean, they, they, uh, well, they're more talented, run. they're more experienced this year. I think last year they got to state. So I think last year they surprised. Yeah. I think last year they arrived oh. a year early and surprised themselves a little bit with all the conversations that I've had. Um, but I, I was, I was big <laughs> on them last year and I'm going to go ahead and yeah. continue on the, uh, Allen Eagle. <laughs> tough, tough matchup for them though. And Marcus, <laughs> yeah, they yeah. can't, they, yeah, they can't take them. They cannot take Marcus like yeah. Cause Marcus yeah. can. Oh yeah. This is a sneaky good matchup right here. Grand Prairie, go. South Grand Prairie, and Dallas Jesuit. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, Jesuit. I'm gonna go Jesuit. Yeah, Jesuit. But this will be Close. one to keep your eye on. <laughs> this will be one to keep your eye on. Uh, Waco Midway and Mansville Lake Ridge. Midway, like the girls, the girls game. Yep, same Midway. thing. Yeah. Uh, sexy and Tyler Legacy. Sexy. Mm. Skyline and Temple. Dallas Skyline. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Skyline. skyline. And this is Region Two now. Two. So, yeah. It's making We're its way fourth one into there. <clears throat> uh, hold on one second here. Yeah, Sasky listed twice. Oh, hold on. So the, the other one was Rollett. Rollett. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Rollett. So Rollett versus. Oh, I thought so it if you go, up. yeah, if you go back, it should be uh, go back one one match. That's two, but yeah, or two. That's Rollett. So this, yeah, that's Rollett. Be, okay, yeah, that's Rollett. So I just didn't Rowlett. switch the name. Rollett so Legacy. That's their alternate logo right there. <laughs> Hey, why not, man? If we can do if we can do alternate kits, we can do alternate logos. What do you think of the US kit? I think the white is is kind of it's clean. It's uh, classy. Sure. The, it's sharp, right? the blue one is just looks like a 2.0 version of the uh, the bomb pop one from about a decade ago. You know, it just looks like a recycled version of the of the bomb pop one. That's that's what I call oh, it. Oh, that 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 uh that ice cream popsicle kind of yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's exactly what it reminds me of. Just a, just they just put a little twist on it. Just kind of, I don't know, man. Just not very, not much imagination or it looks like thought process put into it. I agree. I, I wasn't. I, I honestly, I don't care. You know, just play well. Right. But uh, but yeah. Yeah. Well, we unfortunately we can't talk about that either. But after that's true. Thursday's performance. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens tonight. Hey, so are we still going? Uh, uh, Rowlett over Tyler, uh, uh, Tyler yeah. Legacy? Yeah, Rowlett. Yeah, okay. Rowlett. Mm -hmm. And then Dallas still over Temple. Skyline, yeah. And then Mesquite and Garland. So this is the right matchup here. Mesquite and uh, Garland Sexy. Uh, sexy. Yeah. Which one did we go with? Uh, I've I've got uh, Saxy here. Oh, did we not? I thought, yeah, Saxy. I thought we had already discussed this one. Yeah. Well, I had to go through and make the adjustments. Uh, Bridgeland and Klein Force. Ooh, this the Klein Force team is is they're a pretty decent team, but um, this yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Bridgeland. Yeah, yeah. This is a uh, is a good one. Yeah. Woodlands College Park and Houston Eisenhower, I'm assuming College Park. Yes. Yeah. 
Tom Ball in Cypress Woods. Tom Ball. Yeah. Uh, Spring Westfield in Conroe Grand Oaks. My Grand Go Oaks. Grand Oaks. Yeah, yeah. Is this a still? This is still a pending unofficial. Yeah, yeah. You have it yeah, on the bottom. The the fort, yeah. fort, fourteen didn't. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, fourteen the did not update. Uh, Mesquite Horn and Garland High School. Mesquite Horn. Go Horn. Yeah. Waxahachie and Huddle. Waxahachie. Yeah, I like Waxahachie here. Yeah. Yeah, we saw that Waxahachie team earlier in the yeah. season, right? Mm -hmm. Wiley and Rockwall. Wiley. Let's go to the Piratas. Yep. Uh, Pflugerville, Weiss, and Duncanville. Good matchup here. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Give me. I think Duncanville wins this one. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. go with Duncanville. Yeah, slight, very subtle, very subtle edge here. Uh, Coach Cano is going with the Houston MacArthur because it's MacArthur and Conroe, right? There you go. Hey, they are a district. They are a district champ here, but it is unofficial. Um, but no, I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Conroe. I like Conroe here. Yeah, yeah, I got Conroe. I like Conroe. That'll uh, be a bracket buster. Yeah, Klein, Kane, and Cypress Springs. Kane. Uh, I'm assuming the, the Woodlands over Benjamin Davis. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a that's a really. Yeah, really talented wood uh, woodlands team. And Cypress Falls over or Cypress Falls and Waller. Cy Falls here. Falls. Cy Falls. Is that their stadium? Mm -hmm. Oh, their logo. Yeah, that might be the school school logo. Yeah. Uh, Keller and then El Paso Pebble Hills. Give me Pebble Pebble Hills for the uh, minor upset here. Oof. Um, this is a very talented Pebble Hills squad. Very talented. This is like a reminder of that, e like an East Lake Keller. It's game. an it's an East Lake that doesn't have the name notoriety to go with it yet. Yeah. So yeah, I'll I'll give the edge here to Pebble Hills on this one. I'm you, I'm gonna you, go Keller. My my pick would be Keller, but I'm I'm outnumbered. You list Trinity and San Angelo Central. Trinity. Trinity. Yeah, Trinity. Uh, Grand Prairie and Prosper. I'll go with Prosper. Prosper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Prosper. Uh, Highland Park and Hebron. Ooh, that's a tough one. Highland Park. I'm yeah, gonna go, yeah, Park. Gonna go Highland Park as well. Uh, Perme Odessa Permium and Hearst Bell. I'm gonna go Hearst Bell. Bell. Yeah. Uh, East Lake and South Lake Carroll. Dang. I'm gonna go East Lake here. East Lake, yeah. Those, that's a yeah. Those are pretty. Where East Lake is right now, that's a pretty even, slight edge East Lake, but pretty even match. Even well, this is this is a, a this will be a rematch from last year, and East East Lake won two to one over. Yeah, they've run into each other. I think two a couple of the last times already. Yeah. Yeah. Flower, Flower Mound and Irving. Flower Mound. Flower Mound. Allen and Jesuit. Uh, so Allen. I know this Coach could be a, going Allen. Gonna go Allen. This could be a, Allen. this could be a this could be a tricky game here. I mean, you got to look at Dallas Jesuit what they've done. But I think it, the big it, thing it, is it, they're it, not they're not sneaking up on Ellen. You yeah. know, it's just no. Ellen knows Ellen knows that name, and I think Ellen has that experience. Uh, that said, <laughs> they they fall behind early. It's yeah, they're going to be in yeah. trouble. Uh, Midway, Waco, Midway, and Rowlett. Midway, Midway, Midway. Midway. Skyline and uh, Sexy. Oof. I'm gonna go with Sas I like Sasky. Is the difference in the district 
in the strength of schedule enough. So Saxe is the uh, region. They won region two last year. I'm going to go Saxe. Getting past Saxe. Yeah. Ridgeland and Woodlands College Park. College Park. I like College Park here. College Park, yeah. Tombo and Grand Oaks. Ooh. I'm gonna go. Ooh, yeah, this is a this is a, a doozy. Maybe Grand Oaks. I, I use slight edge Grand Oaks here. I'm gonna oof. This is no different than like that third with, with Saxy. Same identical scenario situation and strength of schedule and district. I'm going to lean towards Tombo. So it puts it to Rafa. I'm going to go with Grand Oaks. Got Horn national or, anthems. National Horn anthems or Waxahachie? Uh, I'm going to go. This would, this would be an interesting year, this one. Yeah. Like, we saw Waxahachie. They got some talent. They do. I'm, that means that I'm going to go Horn. I don't have enough info on Horn. Um, I'll go with Horn. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'll leave that. I'll leave that one to you guys. Wiley and Duncanville. Wiley. Wiley. Conroe and Klein King. Ooh. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> I go. Go Klein King. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go Keen. A four making it. Yeah, Kane. Kane. Yeah. And I'm assuming you guys are going the Woodlands over Cypress Falls. Yes, for me, yeah. Because yeah. you guys are pretty convincing on the the other way. Uh, Klein Kane in the Woodlands. Woodlands. Like Woodlands. Woodlands. Wiley and Mesquite Horn. I'm assuming Wiley based on their answers so far. Wiley. Wiley. College Park from Woodlands and Conroe Grand Oaks. College Park. I think this is College Park. College Park continues, yeah. Waco Midway and Saxe. Yeah. I'm going to go Saxe with the uh, yeah. the slight edge. Yeah. Almost a uh, slight up, mild upset. Pebble Hills or Euless Trinity? Yeah, that's I like Pebble Hills here conti to continue. Yeah, we'll go Pebble. Pebble Hills. Pros Prosper and uh, Highland Park. Great matchup here. I'm going to go Highland Park. I think it's the end of the road for Prosper. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Highland Park. Hearst Bell and El Paso Eastlake. Mm. Does Eastlake have enough to? I think this could this be, one? yeah. I think this could be it for Eastlake. I, 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 I see Bell. Bell. First Bell. I see Bell. Yeah. Flower Mound versus Allen. Allen. Great matchup, man. Great matchup. I think. I'm I'm going Allen. That's two for Allen. I'll yeah. go with Allen. Allen. Bell versus Allen. And, and these will be in these will be in McKinney. McKinney, yeah, Allen. Yeah, Allen, which is Allen's next door neighbor. McKinney. Pebble Hills or Highland Park? I would go Park. Highland Park. Uh, Saxe or Woodlands College Park? I'm gonna go Woodlands College Park. Yeah. All of you shaking your heads. Wiley and the Woodlands. Woodlands, good good matchup though. This could this could be one that's uh, overtime. Part of me just thinks is it wishful thinking that we're gonna have <clears throat> College Park and the Woodlands making it making it here rematch. Yeah, the way it plays, the way it typically plays out, I that's hard for me to see. Yeah, I I got the Woodlands still. All 
I like I like Wiley here. I like Wiley. This is her year. All right, so this puts it uh, Highland Park and Allen, and Woodlands College Park and Wiley. I got Allen and Wiley. I got the same. Yeah, Allen and Wiley. Same. All right, so that was pretty simple. Uh, so we will take our last break with Gripper and GlobalScarves.com, and we'll be back in 91 seconds, I believe is what it is specifically. Looking to step up your social media marketing game? Well, let us tell you about our great friends at Gipper. Gipper is a way that schools, athletic departments, ADs, and coaches create world-class marketing content. Join over 4,000 coaches, ADs, SIDs, and club directors who use Gipper to create high-quality visual branded graphics for your program. The best part? Anyone can do it in seconds on any device without needing any design experience whatsoever. If you do have significant design experience, you're going to love this as well as you are what they call the power user, and this is designed with you in mind as well. And just for being a listener and supporter of the 5050 podcast, you can receive you can receive savings immediately and save 10% off any first-time Gipper purchase. Simply visit gipper.com slash partner slash 5050 to learn more. Again, that's gipper.com slash partner slash 5050. And then there are our great friends at Global Scarves, both Bill and Kyle. They are the top providers of custom knitted scarves, beanies, and other fan merchandise in the U.S. All merch is fully custom with free design services and free shipping on all orders. They do so much more, guys, than just scarves, blankets, beanies, you name it. It's all designed and all customized to your specifications and needs. You can contact them at info at globalscarves.com to get any free designs or quotes built out for your school, club, or maybe even a supporters group. Simply mention the podcast or use the code hashtag 5050pod and they will be sure to take care of it. All right, we're back, and uh, Rafa may have competition for Hollywood because I just saw Robert on the U.S. Men's National Team. Oh, really? On Paramount Plus. Um, and I think D- Derek's up there with him. Derek's a curse. Well, I believe Derek <laughs> is, Derek was standing next to him. So, uh, yeah, Rafa, Derek, you got some- whenever Derek, Derek- – Derek, whenever Derek goes to a game, he always curses that team. So <laughs> he's cursing, and he's wearing the U.S. national team still. So just be aware of that. Uh, all right. So the first one here, uh, Ridge Point, uh, Katie Jordan. I'm assuming we're going Ridge Point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cypress Ridge and Houston Math Science Tech. Uh, uh, for that here, I'm assuming Cypress Ridge, but uh, not 100 percent sure. Cypress Ridge. Yeah. Cypress, yeah. Uh, Seven Lakes and Fort Bend. Uh, Dulles? Dulles. Uh, Dulles. Uh, some in Seven Lakes. Seven Lakes, yeah. Yeah, why not? Seven Lakes, why not? Defending state champion. <laughs> we'll just, you know, hey. Uh, we'll just go ahead and advance them through this round. We'll hey, see what happens just afterwards. Just because you're a state champion doesn't mean you automatically qualify. Uh, Bel Air and Springwoods. Bel Air. Yeah. Yeah, Bel Air. Bel Air. Uh, Lake City, Clear Creek, and Alif Taylor. Clear Lake. Clear Lake, yeah. And keep in mind, uh, 22 is the only district that uh, is not uh, technically official, so humble. Still not reported, right? Yeah. Yeah, versus Channel View. I do like the Eagle uh, on uh, for Channel View, but uh, Humble? Yeah, I'll go to Humble. Humble. Humble, yeah. Houston uh, Streak Jesuit and Dickinson High School. I'm assuming uh, Houston Stake Jesuit. Streak, yeah. Or Streak. Uh, Deer Park and Houston North Shore. This will be a this will be an interesting match. Um, let's see. Here. Give me Deer Park here. I'm gonna go the uh, the uh, the fifty fifty podcast alum power uh, power will push uh, Coach Tato through. Yeah, we'll go Deer Park. Deer Park, yeah. Uh, my wife's alma mater, to Houston Lamar versus my wife's alma mater, Houston Jersey Village. So, which one's her alma mater? Jersey Village. Jersey Village, okay. 
Well, in that case, let's go with Jersey Village. No, I, I'm going to go. Uh, I think I'm going to. Ooh. I mean, but Jersey Village, you know, they've they they've surprised some teams in the past, and I think they've had it. Remember that one that year, the lead took a deep run. They had to play them, I think, in the state semifinals. Was that? Was it? Um, yeah, it was a semifinal because I thought it was, I was thinking it was the final, but that was Rockwell. Um, they're just not consistent, though. That's the issue correct. with Jersey Village, right? Correct. Right now. Yeah. So yeah, Lamar think, won think, uh, uh, in penalty yep. kicks. Slight edge Lamar here. Very Lamar, Lamar won in penalty kicks. They were the, the one seed over the, the this the four seed, which Houston Northbrook. So, but uh, Lamar won in penalty kicks last year. Um, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go Jersey Village for for my pick. But I believe I'm Lamar. 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 Yeah, I had already said Lamar. Yeah, Cinco Ranch and High Tower. I just I didn't hear uh, Rafa. Cinco Ranch. That a Cinco big Ranch. win this past week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Cinco Ranch. Yeah. Cinco Ranch is good. Uh, Northbrook over. Oh, they have West Side, but it's actually Westbury, Houston Westbury. North Northbrook. Uh, no, Northbrook. Northbrook. Uh, Fort Bend, Austin, and Katie Tompkins. 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 Uh, Pasadena, Doble, and Summer Creek. Doby. 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 That's the RPI special, Rafa. Doby. Uh, Alif, Elsick, and Clear Creek. Elsick. Yeah. Elsick. Elsick. Yeah. Uh, Kingwood and Pasadena, Sam Ryburn. We'll go Kingwood. We'll King, go with the official team. And League City, Clear Springs, and Pierland, Shadow Creek. Mm-hmm. I do I like, like Clear Springs. Teeth, I like Clear Springs here. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right, moving over to. Region four. Johnson and San Marcos. I'm assuming Johnson. Yeah. 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 Johnson. Yeah. But uh, again, yeah. that San Marcos Buta region, you know. They're uh, yeah, they're hosting that one, I think, San Marcos, yeah. right? They'll have Johnson will have some adversity to push through. Yeah, that's yeah. being played at San Marcos. Yeah, the, the team that we played today was uh is, is from the San Marcos region and they've got some really good some good players up there. Oh, uh, Vista Park or Vista Ridge or Cedar Park, Vista Ridge, and Del Valle. Vista Ridge. Correct. Yeah. Vista Ridge. Rafa was almost crying. Nope. In memo, okay. we trust. <laughs> as long as he's got his wheelchair to get him out there. Uh, Shirts Clemens and Madison, one of those uh, interesting. Yes. Four versus ones were the fours the favorite. This is one I would want to. I would want to. If I was able to attend a game, this is probably the one I would want to attend because Madison. Is, yeah, Madison is one of my. They're like on that short list for me of of who could be the the dripping springs of last year. Mm-hmm. It would be this group. They've got some really good uh, academy players from the CFC. Um, they like play Madison. really well together. They're very organized. They're very they're slashers. They're very fast. Um, but Clemens, I mean, they Clemens went out and faced, you know, anybody. Uh, the who's yeah. who? Yeah, and, yeah, and they then they shy away from. No, so I, I, slight edge to to Clemens, not just due, mm-hmm. due to the fact that they won their district, but just due that they went out and tested themselves pre district. Yeah. To go and see and and kind of gauge where they needed to be. They threw the record out the window. You know, we'll we'll deal with our record yeah. during district. Uh, let's throw it out the window. Uh, Pre district. Let's see what we you know can can uh, what we can accomplish and see where we need to be come do March. We know, do we know where this one's being played? I, I think it's at shirts. Is it shirt? Yeah. Uh-huh. I just don't think. I think yeah. Madison is just that's not a team I would want to play right now. They're, you talk about house money. You know. But they Madison just, is limping in, limping in there, into yeah. the playoffs with two losses. So, yeah, and, right. And, and that's Clements, but, and Clements but has got been in, on the though. hot streak. He's survived. This is Monday but night. Has been, sun, t- tomorrow night at Clements. 
Clement. Yeah. Uh, it's at seven o'clock, and uh, who knows? I, I might have to show up to this one. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I just funny feeling on this one. I just I. I uh, I can't ignore it on this one. I just yeah, and and I could be wrong. Like I said, Clemens has played a fabulous schedule. Um, so who are we going with, Clemens? Yeah, I, like, I think I like Rafa Clemens. went with Clemens. I'm going, I'm going with Clemens. I'm going Clemens. So uh, Clemens. Yeah, and I might like I said. What I time is the box. what time's the kickoff on that one, Steve? Seven o'clock. Seven. Okay. Yeah. Westlake and Round Rock. Westlake. I'm gonna go Westlake. Yeah, they've had a good year. Uh, Brownsville Rivera and Edinburgh Indomedias. I'm assuming uh, Brownsville. Rivera. 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 Uh, Brennan and Laredo United South. This this could be a this, this is going to be a challenge for them. And then and I guess and I actually got to see United South play. They can touch the ball. They got some speed. They got a very good forward up front. And when I saw them play against Del Rio, he you know, they're able to come back and, you know, tie the game up and they end up winning in PKs for their district play. But they got some talent and it's going to be a very complicated game for, for Brennan. Brennan's going to have to, they can't slack off or take them lightly. They got to have to jump on them right away. I'm going to give Brennan the edge, but don't be surprised. Like I said, if United South gets a lead, they could, they could, you know, like I said, Brennan, you know, when they faced half, that was a little setback there, but. Like I said, the United South has had a little bit more talent than what Taft had, so mm -hmm. just they have they have to be aware of this. I'll give that to Brennan, but wouldn't be surprised if United South knock, knocks him off. Yeah, and I, I saw Brennan play a couple times. All right, I'm sorry. Yes, last week I, I saw got to see them play against Jay, and you know, the thing I liked about them was you know they had the lead and then they got scored on to. to and then they they took the lead like really quick, and then they got scored on again. Then they took the lead again. So you know if if they can just play, you know uh, that that uh, high intensity direct play, it it comes off really well for them. Uh, but if they kind of start, you know, playing a little bit uh, more tight and 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 not playing as as direct, I think their game is more direct if they're looking for results they just play more direct instead of passing the ball is along. brendan traveling for this where is this one i think it's in corpus is it corpus yeah i was trying to look it up that cabin that's a, yeah cabin is, no, that being said i'm gonna i'm gonna go uh i'm, I'm leaning towards laredo united so so that puts it on coach connell eh give me brennan Edinburgh North and San Benito. Edinburgh North. Edinburgh. Rafa has been saying, watch out for this matchup. Laredo Alexander and John Jay. Yeah. 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 And, and we know that uh, uh, Alexander was already scouting. <laughs> uh, I, I saw them out uh, last week. So I'm, I'm going to go Alexander. We we saw them earlier in the year as well, um, and they they are a very technical team, yeah. and they move the ball around really well. Um, I agree. I like a little bit Anderson. more uh, of a of a of the team ball, whereas you know John Jay kind of rel relies on a couple players a little bit more so. So uh, I'm I'm gonna go lean towards Alexander on this match. I'll go with Alexander. My daughter goes to John Jay, so I'm John Jay. <laughs> Not that, that my vote counts, but Bowie and Stony Point. Stony Point a rematch. Last year. Man. This is a yeah. rematch from last year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh I, I think Bowie this year. Uh but Bowie takes a lot of lessons learned from last year. So, exactly. Yeah. 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 Steel and Lee, a young Lee team that's uh coming in at the right moment. Yeah, so it's the same matchup for the on the girls' side, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, and Lee has been putting some results together and they're mm -hmm. kind of hitting their 
they're peaking now. You know, they're, 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 they're freshmen are kind of like now sophomores or sophomores are kind of, you know, a young team juniors. or juniors. Now it seems like in, in I'm going to, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with Lee on this, uh, this one. Yeah, I think I think Coach Rogers done a really good job. I mean, they were pretty much it didn't look really good for them, and they and they ran the gauntlet towards the end. And and you gotta you gotta give credit to him. You know, you know they could have kind of packed it up, and it that have been it. But they they fought, they scrapped through, and and that was you know because we saw them play earlier. They're very talented, but they weren't an experience. But I think they've gained some experience and confidence. So I'm gonna give the edge here to Lee. Yeah, and I think even what two three weeks ago they weren't even sitting in the playoffs, and now they find themselves mm -hmm. as a three seed. Three seed. Well, prior to last week they were fifth. They moved into right. third based on based on how results fell. Uh, I thought they would get into the four slot, but you know they were able to move all the they way up a, due to tiebreakers. They had some. They had some help along the way, which <laughs> is the key. Uh, Vandergrift yeah. and uh, uh, Austin Atkins. I'm assuming Vandergrift. Yeah, pretty cool little video footage that I saw of Aikens, uh, you know, making the playoffs and, and them celebrating like that. So, you know, that just shows how much it means for teams just to get into the right. tournament. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Brandeis and New Braunfels? That one's tomorrow um, up in New Braunfels. But, also uh, in New, yeah, New Braunfels as well. Uh, Brandeis, when they're on, man, they are. <laughs> <laughs> they're on. That's That's – I mean, they can, they can run their their way, you know, find themselves in state if they're, if they, you know, if they're on. Uh, but yeah, I, I got them advancing this one, even though it's in New Braunfels. Grand ice. Yeah. Yep. And hold on, I was clicking the button, trying to find our mouse. Uh, Laredo United and Warren. So. Um, I got a couple boys that play on the Warren team, and they're asking me, "Who you got? Who do you got?" I was like, "You got to tune in to find out." Um, so, that, so that, Steve, who do you got? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we're not gonna let you hide behind our picks, man. What do you, what do you got? No, you got? no, I know. I and and I I kind of hinted where where I was going with this. I right. think that uh, Laredo United just got a little too much uh, I technical. Uh, work on on that uh that being said I, I do love the way that the warren team plays they're a very attacking team um you know sometimes the best defense is a really good offense so if they can not maybe just park the bus maybe just attack 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 they've got a chance here um wh where's this one being played is this the one in, they Hondo? in corpus in corpus okay Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I think I think for them, for Warren to really have a, a shot here, they they got to get out. They got to find a way to take the lead. Right. Yeah. Gotta yeah. Find a get way up, to take the lead. Get up front, and then and and not park the bus after that. Like, yeah. you got to keep attacking. You got to keep attacking. So, um, but yeah, no, I, I I've I'm gonna go Laredo here, Laredo United. But uh, you know, a hard fought game and, and a great season by Warren. Yeah. I'll go United. And, and look for Warren in the next couple of years. Maybe probably even next year. Well, I keep saying that about Stevens, too, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> personal bias for that, that one there. <laughs> uh, La Jolla and Harlingen. <laughs> this is an even matchup here. Yeah. This is an even it. matchup. Give me Harlingen. I'm going to go La Jolla. I'll go Harlingen. Harlan and Del Rio. Harlan, what do you got, Rafa? Harlan. Har Har Harlan, like you said, we got to see them play. They know how to, they can turn it up when they need to. And that, a perfect example is that game versus Warren when it was a 1 1 0 game, and then all of a sudden they just blitzkrieged you in. And, and 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 like I said, they attacked you. They they press you. Uh, like I said, I've seen Dorio play a couple times. They do have some talent. Uh, I think Warren needs to keep an eye on Eli Lasoya, who's their number ten. I think if they can contain him, uh, 
should, like I said, Harlan should should win this one. Uh, this game's going to be played, I think, on Hondo at the eight o'clock on Tuesday night. So, yeah, and, and Harlan's kind of uh, <clears throat> not necessarily been under the radar, but maybe not getting as much uh, exposure as they have in the couple last two or three years. You listened and, to our last uh, show, didn't you? I said the same exact thing. Is that what it was? Okay, maybe that's where it comes. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, no, I, I think that uh, yeah, Harlan for for sure on this one. Rafa, who did you want to shout out, or you know that uh, when you went home uh, that uh, you worked with, or that's, oh yeah, uh, yeah, just shout out to KWMC in fourteen ninety. Like I said, they had me on uh, broadcast one of the games. That was the game between Doria and United South. So. Shout out to them. I know they're watching to memo. So we'll, we'll, I think we'll see, we'll see if they broadcast the game. I think on Tuesday. I think they're working on that. Nice. Uh, Los Fresnos and Edinburgh for the last matchup before we go to the bracket. Los Fresnos. Yeah. Los Fresnos. I got, I got to see them earlier in the year against uh, Southwest, and they actually gave Southwest a really good match. It was a five to three match, and uh, they played they played really well as a team. Yeah. It's a good team there. All right, and we'll go back up. Uh, Harlan and Los Reznos. You can pull the bracket up. No. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Here we go. I just didn't click the right button. Harlan, Harlan and Los Reznos. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go Harlan on this one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll go Harlan. Uh, Laredo Three. United and Harlingen United. Yeah. United. Yeah. Uh, Brandeis and Vandergrift. That's a great match. Oof. I'm going yeah. to say Brandeis. I'm going to say Brandeis gets gets through. Uh, PK, so. I'm curious about the consistency of Brandeis. That's what I'm right. kind of. Yeah. That's what has me concerned here. And Vandergrift has been steady yeah. all year. Give me, I I like Vandergrift here, Rafa. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go with Vandergrift. Uh, Bowie or Lee? Bowie. Yeah, Bowie. Well, watch out for Lee in the future, but uh, I think Lee's a, a year away. Yeah, right, right. Enberg North and Laredo Alexander. Alexander. Uh, Rivera and Brennan. Rivera. Rivera. Westlake and Clements. Man. Ooh. Yeah. This this yeah, could this. be one that even though go Westlake. Would... Yeah, I think Westlake. I mean, I was I felt inclined that Madison could somehow have Clemens potentially have Clemens number. So yeah, I think in the, if that matchup uh plays out, I think I think the edge to Westlake here. Yeah, I got Johnson and Cedar Park Vista Ridge. Johnson, Johnson. like Johnson, yeah. Uh, Ridge Point and Cypress Ridge. Ridge Point. Uh, Seven Lakes and Bel Air. I'm assuming Seven Lakes. Seven Lakes. Correct. That sets up a chase team match. Uh, Clear Creek and Humble. <sighs> Just use the match up there. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Clear Creek. Overtime. Who you got, Rafa? Uh. I, I may go um, humble. I think we're going humble. Big. Yeah, I think they, they've just, you know, the district they play in, I think it's just a little more. There's a little more. And, you know, they got some, some good wins. So I'm going to go I'm gonna go with uh, humble. Uh, I'm not sure if Coke Cano is here. If he's not, I will roll with, uh, I think, the last person that had possession. Uh, was Rafa, and he's also the host, so we'll go with Humble to advance through, unless uh, Coach Kano hops on 
in the next few seconds. Uh, Strick Jesuit in Deer Park. I'll go Strick. Yes. Lamar and Seco Ranch. Go Seco Ranch. Seco Ranch. Uh, Northbrook and Tompkins. That'd be a tough one. Yeah, Northbrook, Northbrook has a good have a has a good program, but that's that's really gonna go. Yeah. That's a, that's gonna be a back and forth game. Um, if Northbrook can keep, you know, I guess to, I guess get ahead, that they have a chance. But you know how Tompkins, you can say their District Nineteen just really. I'm I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the edge to Tompkins on this one. Tompkins? I'm going to go. Yeah, I'll go Tompkins too. Yeah. Uh, Doby and Elsick. Elf. Ooh. Great, another great game. That's another yeah. great game. That's yeah, a regional baby. final right there. I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a Doby. So they, this is a rematch from last year, and Doby won 1 0. So I'm going to do. Uh, I'm actually going to go. probably good. Extra time. I, I believe this is going to go extra time or PKs. I'm going to go Elsick. So, Coach, uh, you're the tiebreaker, Doby or Elsick? Doby or Elsick. Rafa went with Doby. Steve went with Elsick. If that, uh, yeah. if that, that influences your decision one way or another. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going uh, looking at district, district body of work, and then yeah, and, and I'm gonna echo what Steve said. I believe in the uh, the RPI in terms of how we go about factoring that in and putting it together, and the work that the research that Rafa puts behind it. I put a lot of weight in that. So give me Dobie. Who Dobie? Dobie. Yeah. Uh, Kingwood or Clear Springs. I'll go Kingwood. Kingwood. Yeah. And then going back up, uh, Doby or Kingwood? Ay, ay, ay. Doby. Adobe. Uh, yeah. Cinco, Cinco Ranch or Tompkins? Cinco. Yeah. Uh, and then Steak Jesuit or Humble? Straight. Uh, Fort Bend, Ridge Point, Katie, Seven Lakes, who I think if this was in a different part of the bracket, they would be meeting further down. Yeah. 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 I'm going to go that Seven is, Lakes on this one. That is a great, <laughs> great matchup. Um, I think. Is, uh, is, this a, is this a year for Ridge Point? The girls get all the accolades. Right, right. Yeah, I mean that pressure, that pressure piece on Seven Lakes, right? Is can they just make it through, survive in advance, round by round, as the pressure amps up, right? The to defend, um, and it's kind of one of those, right? With Ridge Point, is like the proof is in the pudding until they can show it, I guess. Um, but yeah, I think Seven Lakes. I like Seven Lakes. Johnson and Westlake. You go, San Antonio uh, Johnson. Yeah. The I last San Antonio. Oh, no, there's yeah. Harlan too. So two San Antonio think, schools yeah. left. I think this is the year for, for Johnson. That's one for Johnson. Yeah, I'm going to go Johnson. That's two. Rivera and Laredo Alexander. Rivera. Rivera. Yeah. Uh, Bowie and Vandergrift. I'm going to go Bowie. Yeah. And this is where we expected to see them last year. Right. A little bit of redemption. And Laredo United and Harlan. Uh, I'm going to go Harlan. 
It's a tough matchup for Harlan here. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. Be curious to see where this one's played it. Probably in Corpus, right? Yeah. We're like in Corpus. Unless they end up going somewhere halfway, maybe Ovalde or mm -hmm. which. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm still gonna go with Harlan though. What do you got, Uh I'll go with uh, Harlan. Oh, no. All right, so back up, uh, Bowie or Harlan? I'm gonna go Bowie. Is, Bowie, I this Bowie's, I think this is a year for Bowie to break a, a redemption breakthrough here. Johnson or Rivera? Rivetta here. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I'm assuming seven lakes over streak. Yeah. Yeah. They're just on another level. Doby or Cinco Ranch? I'm going to go Doby. Doby. So that just, makes. Uh, yeah, okay. I just. Something about Cinco Ranch, man. I don't know. And, and I think that Cinco Ranch would probably, just because they know mm -hmm. Seven Lakes, might even have an advantage over yeah. Seven Lakes compared to what Pasadena Doby would. Right. But if, if they get there, yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's going to be yeah. that's a totally different matchup. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, final four Seven Lakes, Doby, Brownsville Rivera, and Austin Bowie. So, two advance. Um, it seems like everybody's on the Seven Lakes train. Um, fair to say? Yeah. I got Seven Lakes advancing to state. Rafa? Yeah, I'll go with Seven Lakes. The one that the, seems to be having some questions or some debate would be Brownsville Rivera and Austin Bowie. <laughs> Whew. Rafa's theory of never go against Brownsville? Is it going <laughs> to should be right in our backyard here in San Antonio. I think if Rivera can do what they did last year, like what to Lee kind of dictate, jump on a lead, be aggressive, you know, I'm, I'm wondering if Bowie will take will come into a, this game and take them lightly or they'll go in with it too over like too confident. Because what well, well, because Rivera, if they score on you, they'll like I said, they'll smack you in the face with a goal, and they'll and they know how to maintain the lead too. So, right. Um, right. And and then this, like I said, this coaching staff that Rivera has, it's they've been there for I think close to almost twenty years already. So I think Coach uh, Coach Garcia's been there for for quite some time, and he's got a state, he's got a couple state titles. So um, that's that come, that's going to come into a factor. Uh, but I think I think Bowie may just had just a little bit, a little more, if than, than Rivera. I think I don't think it's the Rivera team from last year. I think I think Bowie gets. I think they get the job done. Who who was in Rivera was in the the region final. They lost uh, yeah. in that Dripping Springs. Dripping wrong. Springs. Yep. It was drip. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I like, uh, yeah. For what it's worth, I, I I agree completely with with you, Rafa, on this one. It's it's Bowie. I think just when you factor in everything, and it's just the uh, the you look at what we saw last year versus this year, the lessons learned piece, and yeah, I think if if it can play out just right for Bowie, and they they come to play, and they factor they reflect on from last year, the talent is there. Um, yeah, I like Bowie. I'm gonna go Rivera. But uh, but yeah yeah two to one yeah yeah story of the night. <laughs> <laughs> so the final four for six uh, A boys: Allen, Wiley, Seven Lakes, and Bowie. Yeah, yeah, and that set, sets up. Yeah, that that's a, oof, yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, Allen, oh, Allen, Allen. Me, Allen Seven Lakes yeah. final, mm. yeah. That's that's kind of what well, I was. Well, it depends on how it matches up, right? Yeah, yeah. that's true. 
Because you could have an Allen versus, because these are the two Dallas area schools, right? So they're going to typically split them up. So you'll have, could have Allen versus Seven Lakes or Allen versus Bowie. Yeah. At that point, at that point, I would have, I would venture to say maybe a, a Seven Lakes versus a Wiley. Yeah. yeah. Bowie versus uh, Allen. Yeah. Well, who would be the higher seed between Allen and Wiley? Because, you know, because Seven Lakes, since they're the defending they champ, would be the number one seed, right? I don't I don't think that they seed them, though. I think it's just kind of like a... Uh, well, it's a mystery of how they do it. <laughs> right. right. I don't I don't think it's a seeding. But, I, I mean, personally, I don't think it's a seeding. Um, so just do it like they do in Champions League. Drill, drop the little balls in there and... Yeah, That's they wouldn't they do. do that. So they wouldn't do that. But so, I think that's a, the the game that I think probably everyone wants to see is going to be Seven Lakes versus versus Allen. And can Allen take that step and take the title away from Seven Lakes? Yeah. So just to recap 6A uh, before we get out of here. So 6A girls, South Lake Carroll, uh, Garland, so uh, Softly, Fort Bend, Ridge Point, San Antonio Johnson. For the boys, Allen. Wiley, Seven Lakes, and Austin Bowie. So I do want to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, final thoughts. Uh, we'll start with you, Coach. Uh, congratulations on, on a great year. Um, once again here, I know it's start of the second season. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully you're around for, what, another three weeks-ish, four weeks-ish um, before uh, you go to your off season that you have to deal with all the NIL. Oh wait, you're not in college yet, so uh, no for that here. So <laughs> it's coming to high schools. Trust me, uh, you know what it is. Yeah. So just a little bit updated info here on how how they handle. Uh... You guys hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A okay. little bit update here. So um, how they how they reseed, if you will, or reshuffle at state is. They seed one and two and then flip a coin to see which of the remaining two go. Right. So so identify one and two and then flip the other two basically. And then one plays the earlier game. So they so they do seed. So you'd figure the top two seeds would be yeah. what seven lakes and Allen? Allen, probably. Probably probably Allen. Yeah. It's it's essentially what we just said. I would I would venture to say, yeah. Any final thoughts for you, Steve? Um, I know you do a lot in academy yeah. work, and you know here with uh, Premier and, and in the San Antonio area along those lines. Here, anything uh, you need to promote or anything along those lines? Yeah, thank you, Harry. Uh, so, uh, yeah, thank. Well, again, thank you, Harry, for everything that you do uh, on your side, just due to the fact that uh, you know getting all the logos for. You know all the the mascots and everything. I think I lot of mentioned work, this man. last night. It's a lot yeah. of work. Uh, the records, the district records, all that uh, taken into consideration. There's just hours of <laughs> you know data that you put together, and and it comes in to play beautifully. And I think that uh, all the teams, coaches, uh, fans uh, really appreciate that. And I know on on our side, we re really appreciate that as well. But uh, uh, yeah. So for myself, I. Uh, you know, uh, coach for a club here in San Antonio, Premier Football Academy. Uh, you know, very proud of the the teams that we put together and the coaching staff that we have, and it's really great uh, academy here in San Antonio. So, uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions on 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 uh, soccer uh, for your for your your little ones, all the way up to you know, 16, 17, 18 year olds as well. Um, and then uh, I do private lessons here in San Antonio. So that's my badge that I have over here, 78 soccer training. So um, you can follow me on, on Instagram there at uh, seven, eight soccer training. So thank you guys for having me. I really appreciate it. And uh, it was fun. Coach Cano, uh, what's up? What's next for the 50, 50 podcast? Uh, I know you and Rafa will be doing, a, I'm assuming playoffs recaps daily or, yeah. there uh, along those lines here if you want to kind of set up the 50 50 podcast and promote anything that you want to do as well yeah yeah no i appreciate it so again echo everything steve said about uh just harry your work behind it because it's a lot man just 
building sales tracking and the way we did it this year, you kind of took it to another level. So really appreciate it. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, it has to be has to be commended. So appreciative of that for sure. And uh, thank you guys for having me on here, having, you know, and then, or as we said, our, our teams, our podcast teams kind of cross over here as well. So really good, uh, really great to have this. This is like, I call it the accidental tradition, right? So I love it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, to our listeners, we've had probably live listeners over the three shows, right? Last night, earlier today, and this one. Probably over two, probably about over 2,200 live listeners, just live listeners, right? So a uh, shout out to uh, Mr. Merritt, Michael Merritt. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you so much. Big supporter of the podcast. Um, but anyway, thank you again. Just love doing this. Love being love being part of what we're doing, the Texas high school soccer community. And, uh, and to be a part of it on a different front, right? Coming Tuesday as a coach as well, uh, coaching in the state playoffs, it just – adds to the uh, the fuel to the passion i guess and uh, just love doing it best of luck so to all our li all the listeners live listeners supporters thank you so much you are the reason why we do it we're grateful for you all and uh to everybody coaches players athletes that are playing uh start in the uh the tournament the second season tomorrow wish you the best of luck and make sure compete you know compete with honor compete with class and whether you whether you, you know, come up short or you're victorious, you know, um, keep it classy in defeat and be humble in victory and to wish everybody the absolute best and make sure everybody is safe travels, right? Safe travels going to, cause there, there will be some travel involved as well, but really appreciate each and every one of you guys to Harry, Rafa, Stevo, um, everybody. Thank you. And, uh, it's been such an absolute honor to be able to just be a small part of this. And I, I thank each and every one of you. So thank you. Yeah. As far as the podcast goes, Inside Texas High School Soccer episodes, our next episode, episode six, will be coming. Just have to figure out around my schedule, my playoff schedule, to see what that <laughs> looks like <laughs> after Tuesday. So uh, more to come on that, and uh, we'll we'll be sure to get the word out. But looking forward to the, the chaos that by district and area round gives us. So thank you. And also to our, our, our loved ones as well, mm -hmm. uh, you know, planning around this weekend is, uh, can be a challenge <laughs> for, for those, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, so thank you to, you know, like my wife, I'm sure, you know, others that are in the household as well to make sure, Hey, you know, I've got the show going on, please watch, watch the dog or, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, but, uh, you know, uh, it's, it, it's, it's pretty neat when you have uh, support from, you know, the, the spouse. Yeah. Rafa, uh, any thoughts that you have here uh, before I give the SAFC fan cast? I think we're going to do that on Tuesday. Um, mm -hmm. I know I'm going to try to see about uh, posting once we get past the by district rounds. I think it'll be a little bit easier to know where and track who's playing who. So we might see a little bit more notifications coming out from me or the, the SA soccer round table. Uh, of uh, games to promote them as well. But uh, Rafa, your final thoughts. Uh, I know you're, uh, you know, been here since year one uh, with uh, with uh, Scott and me as far as doing this bracketology and stuff like that here. So your thoughts before we let you out at halftime and, and that way you can go get some drinks and some food and, and watch the second half of this thrilling 0-0 zero -zero, uh, match between Mexico and U.S. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys, Hector, Steve, Harry, uh, you know, you know, for putting this, you know, um, it's great to, you know, this is like our yearly tradition, kind of like our, our our Christmas holiday, I guess you could say. <laughs> you know, yeah, opening the present tradition, man. Put it on a T-shirt. Yeah, tradition. tradition. Yeah. Yeah, and then you know, just to the people watching out there, you know, that we, you know, we do put a lot of, you know, a lot of effort. Everyone has their part of their expertise. Harry does a lot of the technical stuff. You know, I appreciate what he does and. Uh, with Steve's knowledge and Coach Hector Hano's knowledge, and then my my background, like I said, you're you're getting like kind of like our side of you know from from our coaching background to you know to give you guys what what we think we can expect is coming up this playoffs. But hey, we don't always get them right. I mean, I got eighty percent right on the taps one, so I don't, <laughs> so I'm looking kind of good there there. So, but uh, you know, to the people out there who are watching, you know, maybe you haven't followed whether fifty fifth podcast or Santos Soccer Roundtable, or even Fatcast, make sure you follow us on the social media pages. We're on Twitch, on X, you know, like I said also on Instagram. Uh, we're also we're on Facebook. 
So make sure to follow us, you know, very insightful, you know, not only on high school soccer, but also recruitment and so forth. But we appreciate mm-hmm. guys and good luck to all the teams out there. Yeah. You know, you, got, you are representing your schools, take some pride, you know, you know, you're wearing the badge of your school and just leave it out there on the line. And ho- hopefully, like I said, we'll, we'll do some, a lot of follow-ups going on this next few weeks and we'll see who ends up going to Georgetown and get the trophy. And my final thought, you know, kind of echo uh, the other three here. Um, I didn't play soccer because, you know, I grew up many, many years ago. They didn't have soccer in small town Colorado, but I wrestled. Um, even to this day, you know, still going to uh, the state wrestling tournament, you know, in Denver, which was a big deal. And and I still remember who I faced or the schools I faced. I still remember the, the feelings uh, so cherish those because this is a, a lifetime. This the, you'll have this feeling with you for the rest of your life. This experience, um, I know it's helped shape me. I, I'm assuming with Rafa and Steve and, and Coach Cano, uh, the experiences you get playing high school sports helps guide you and directs you and, and hopefully develops you into being a great human being. Uh, you know, in a productive human being. Uh, you know, later on in life from the values and, and work ethic and you know just you know the struggles that you get with it, you know, it's, it's not easy, you know, in the middle of the summer and the dead of winter, you know, running around and, and, you know, you know, playing soccer in this case here or, you know, uh, whatever sport that you're doing. So do you want to thank all the athletes, Madison, uh, for piping in OC soccer, uh, premier, uh, you know, Lo, uh, Layla, um, Jolene. Matt, Jolene, you know, for uh, commenting on this last one here. And I know there were many others, uh, from you know down in the valley that uh, commented last night and and earlier this uh, earlier on the shows here, but podcast wise we'll get these out on the SA Soccer uh, Roundtable podcast. will probably go out either later on the night or probably tomorrow morning. Just being honest with you, because it's been a long weekend. <laughs> so. It's been a short but long weekend. <laughs> go. United States. Sorry, Rafa. Good guys. That's Good right. guys are up. Good guys are up. So, and for that, we got to get Rafa out of here because uh, we don't don't want to see the tears. Yeah, and, you tears. Know, along those lines. Hey, we're, 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 we're still sure. we're still rebuilding, so it's not like I said. I'm not. I don't have. Dude, a high Mexico doesn't. Mexico oh, doesn't really rebuild. Really. How many times no. have have you guys said that? We don't rebuild. We own the United States here. Uh, now, it's, Adam. Yeah, it's it's a rebuild when they're down one zero. Yes. Hey. Um, one one final okay. note, Harry. Um, safety wise, safety. Something I, I did want to hit on is we got a lot of athletes that are going to be playing. So think about it, right? If you play through the regional tournament, that's five matches in the next two weeks, on t- less than two weeks. And then on top of that, we have we will have players across the state playing in the Dallas Cup, different showcases, whatnot. So players, just be aware. Coaches also factor that in, please. Just in terms of your your periodization, regeneration, recovery time of your athletes as well. So really want to minimize any potential harm, uh, safety issues as far as with players go. So please, everyone, please be extra safe. So, Dude, that was a galazzo by Adams here. Uh, all it was. To them. It was. Uh, but we're going to end the show here. What's life without goals? We're out of here. Hope everybody has a wonderful week. Thank um, you. And good, uh, good uh, second season here. <laughs>